Hello, my name is Colette Stanzler and I'm a principal at Root Cause. Root Cause is a nonprofit consulting group that exists to enable more people and families to achieve lifelong success. Since 2004, we have worked with over 400 organizations on strategy, measurement, learning and improvement, and collective action in areas including health and well being, education, youth development, and economic security. At Root Cause, we are excited you are interested in learning more about SMART aims and how this can help your organization set effective goals during your continuous quality improvement or CQI process. Why SMART aims? Successful program implementation requires strong, measurable objectives in order to monitor progress towards achieving goals and outcomes. Setting SMART aims creates those strong, measurable objectives because this practice requires your organization to identify what you are aiming for, whether you are aiming for the right thing, by when, and how you'll know if you met your goals. Devoting time and resources early on to determining SMART aims is an investment in the future of your plan, program, or service. By starting out with SMART aims, you can systematically and meaningfully measure progress, show achievements, and identify opportunities for improvement. What is a SMART aim? SMART aims are goals you create that are specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time-bound. The specific component of your aim outlines the target for improvement or what specifically you want to change, the outcome for improvement or your intended impact, and a time frame for improvement. In other words, an aim is specific when it can answer who, what, where, and when of the goal your organization is setting. The measurable component of your aim identifies how you can most effectively measure your organization's progress over time and in quantifiable terms, meaning it can be counted and tracked in some way. When considering whether your aim is measurable, you can ask, how can the desired outcome of your goal be translated into a measurable data element? Can you visualize and track the progress of this measure over time? Is this measure quantifiable? What is the value or number that can be used to calculate change? When determining your measurement, it is important to determine what needs to be done to collect this data. Maybe you currently collect data on the desired outcome you have identified for your goal. Maybe there are new ways your organization should collect and gather data for this goal. The attainable component of your aim means that it is accomplishable. Can your organization achieve this goal given your current capacity and resources? Is this goal feasible given the needs of your service population? Is this time frame achievable? Does the issue your organization seek to address seem changeable? Is your organization in a position to be able to make changes in this area? Relevant is a component of your aim that focuses attention on where it is needed relative to your organization's capacity and the population you serve. In other words, an aim is relevant when it is related to your services, is meaningful to your organization, and is an important focus for your organization and the population you serve. Some key questions to ask yourself. If achieved, will the goal help address the needs of your service population? Is the aim related to improving service quality either directly or indirectly? Is there evidence that the method you will use may be effective toward achieving your goal? Does the goal align with your organization's mission and shared vision of quality? Is the aim aligned with other organizational values and priorities? Time bound is a component of your aim that sets a specific time frame within your organization in which your organization will achieve your goal. This time frame should be achievable and will inherently generate momentum toward meeting the goal and will build in accountability. The time frame should be specific. Include exact dates where possible. Can you determine a start date and an end date? Are all members of the team aware of and in agreement about the timeline? Will the aim inherently generate momentum toward meeting the goal? 
does the aim build in accountability toward, through the time frame? Remember this quote by Don Berwick at the Institute for Healthcare Improvement. Some is not a number. Soon is not a time. If your time is not specific, then progress will not be measurable. Be sure to be as precise as possible with your time frame. One good format your organization can use when setting a SMART aim is by when, X number percent or percent change of whom will change benefit or result in something. Let me break this down for you. The first space, when, creates a time frame by which you should meet your goal. This means your aim is time bound. The second space, number percent or percent change identifies a quantifiable goal. This makes your aim measurable. The third space, whom, refers to who will benefit from the change. This helps make your aim more relevant and specific. The last space, what result, change or benefit, asks about the desired change. This is where you can explain what will happen as a result of your specific, measurable, relevant, and time-bound goal. Notice that this format does not ensure your goal is attainable. To discern whether this goal is attainable, you should consider whether the issue you are addressing seems changeable, whether there is evidence your method may increase progress towards your desired outcome, and whether your organization has the capacity and resources available to accomplish this goal. Here's an example of a SMART aim. By December 15, 2022, 16% of our organizational staff will receive a 5% pay increase. Now let's talk through a few example goals. We will decide whether they are SMART aims and if not, what we could change to make them SMART aims. Our organization is a nonprofit called Bellamy's Group. They provide tutoring, college and career counseling, and also maintain a post-secondary STEM and art scholarship fund for local teenagers and young adults aged 14 to 19 in the fictional town of Fairland City. They currently serve 18% of this population. Here are some goals they put together for their work in the upcoming year. Example one says, by June 1st, 2023, we will scale our college and career counseling services to serve 25% of Fairland City's youth aged 14 to 19. Example two says, in a year, we will increase the number of scholarships we give to students pursuing post-secondary programs in the arts to the same amount of STEM scholarships we give. Example number three says, our organization will help double the number of sixth and seventh graders exposed to STEM and arts extracurriculars in Fairland City by the end of the 2022-23 school year. Which of these examples are smart? What are the components that make them smart? Which of these examples are not smart? What could be added or adjusted to make them smart? Maybe ask yourself, what are they trying to accomplish and for whom? Do they indicate how much and how many? Does it include a specific time frame? Does it seem feasible? We recommend writing your response to each of these goals. Please take a moment to pause here and consider your responses. Really, hit pause on the recording and consider your responses. Go ahead, I'll wait. Let's tackle example number one first. When looking at this goal, we notice it has a time frame. We also notice it includes a specific percentage change. It identifies who will benefit from this change, and it does explain what the result will be. This goal does look specific, measurable, relevant, and time-bound. While we don't know all of the other details of this organization, since they are already serving 18% of youth in Fairland City, this goal does appear to be attainable. Therefore, it is a smart aim. Let's move on to example number two. 
When reviewing this goal, the first thing you should notice is that there are no numbers included. This flags for me that the timeline and measurables are not specific enough for this to be a SMART aim. To make this a SMART aim, the organization would need to provide a more specific timeline than a year for achieving this goal. This aim would also need to indicate a particular number or percentage change they want to impact over that timeline so you have a baseline to determine if the percentage or number change is attainable. Last, let's look at example number three. This goal has a time frame, is measurable, and is specific. It includes whom the goal will benefit and how it will benefit them. However, given the organization's current focus on tutoring and providing college and career counseling for youth aged 14 to 19, this goal is not particularly relevant to the organization, which also means that it is not likely to be attainable. Therefore, it is not a SMART aim. To make this a SMART aim, the organization would need to refocus the goal on the services they currently provide. To review this concept once more, a SMART aim is a goal that is specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time-bound. SMART aims are important because they aid organizations in creating more effective goals for themselves and the people they serve. Thank you for taking this time to learn more about SMART aims. For more information and resources about SMART aims, please visit rootcause.org to access our continuous quality improvement library.